This is a Genus 3 GRE tunneling lab. I want to welcome you to this GNS3 Labs course. This course is not like other courses. This course is practical, it's hands-on, and contains multiple labs. The labs in this course cover topics such as CCNA routing and switching, CCMP routing and switching, multi-vendor large-scale topologies, and many others. GRE or generic routing encapsulation is a tunneling technology that allows you to create point-to-point -point tunnels over an IP network such as the internet. Multiple protocols can be encapsulated over GRE and you can run routing protocols across a GRE tunnel. The disadvantage of GRE tunnels is that they don't support encryption. If you want the added benefit of GRE encrypted tunnels, you typically encapsulate a GRE tunnel over an IPsec tunnel. IPsec provides the encryption. GRE allows you to encapsulate multiple protocols and run routing protocols across the GRE tunnel. Cisco devices now support many types of tunnels, such as DMVPN and others but GRE is one of the oldest and most simple tunneling technologies. In this topology, we have an internet service provider that's running BGP in autonomous system number 65,000. There are two customer routers, customer one and customer two. You need to create a tunnel from customer router one to customer router two, which will allow Ubuntu one to communicate with Ubuntu 2 across this simulated internet using RFC 1918 addresses. So in this topology, customer side one is using subnet 10110/24, customer side two is using 10120/24, and you need to set up a GRE tunnel using subnet 10130/24 that will allow these devices to communicate with each other across the internet. To simulate the internet, we're using three ISP routers. They are using a level three addresses, 8.8.x.x, .8 and you'll form a tunnel across those three routers between customer one and customer two. Now I've kept the IP addressing very simple using slash 24 masks, in the real world, you probably want to use slash 30 masks on your tunnels and other point-to-point -point links. The tasks that you need to complete in this lab are firstly to configure the customer routers, customer one and customer two, to use DHCP addresses on gigabit 01. So you're going to configure gigabit 01 on both customer routers to use DHCP in other words, to request an IP address from the ISP router. You need to configure gigabit 00 with a static IP address per the diagram, and then you need to configure a DHCP pool on the customer routers to allocate IP addresses to the Ubuntu clients in this subnet. Once you've done that, configure a GRE tunnel between customer one and customer two so that Ubuntu 1 and Ubuntu 2 can ping each other using RFC 1918 addresses. You're not going to advertise this network to the internet. The internet routers will only be routing addresses in the 8 network. So 8.8.8.0, 9.0, 10.0, and 11.0. Use EIGRP with Autonomous System 100 as the routing protocol on the customer network. In other words, you're only going to run EIGRP on interfaces in network 10.x.x.x. .x .x .x. 
Now to verify, make sure that the customer routers can ping each other on gigabit 01 as well as gigabit 00 and then verify that Ubuntu 1 and Ubuntu 2 can ping each other. In this topology, I'm using Cisco IOS V router images. So I'm using this image and I'm using Ubuntu Docker containers in the GNS3 topology. So you'll need to get a Cisco IOS V image to complete this lab. You can get that from viral.cisco.com. So can you complete this lab? Download the attached GNS3 project file, import it into GNS3 by going to File, Import Portable Project, and see if you can complete the lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete the lab. Some additional information. Notice on the ISP routers, such as ISP Router 2, the routers are learning about routes through BGP, but again, they are only learning about networks in the 8.8.x.x range. Show IP BGP neighbors shows us that the routers have various neighbor relationships. And I'll do that by typing show IP BGP summary. Notice that ISP router two has two neighbor relationships, one to ISP router one and another to ISP router three. You need to make sure that you don't advertise RFC 1918 addresses into the internet. In other words, these ISP routers should not learn about networks 10.1.1.0, 10.1.2.0, or 10.1.3.0. So, can you complete this lab yourself?